Crafters, it's Janet with Crafting It Up and Creations coming at you today with a slightly different uh, YouTube video that I've done in a while, but this is going to be kind of like a project share, but I had a um, friend here on YouTube, Tim from Timber Ridge Gifts, send me a couple packages of candle making supplies. Now, I am not really a candle maker. Uh, I do all kinds of different crafts, so this was pretty new to me. And I'm going to um, show you what all he sent me in the packages and then show you what I created with them. So it's not going to be a real um, in-depth video as far as showing you how to do it. I'll link the video of his down below on where I had to reference back to in order to be able to make these candles. And um, like I say, he was very generous in sending me all kinds of really cool supplies from the soy to the um, glass um, container to put it in to the um, uh, colorant and to the scent and he tailored it pretty good because I love the color purple and purple was one of the colors that he sent me so that was pretty awesome and I just want to say thank you Tim for taking the time and the expense of sending all that to me because even shipping if you don't even count in the fact that somebody's sending you all that really cool free stuff, the shipping is just phenomenal these days. And it really hurts um, us smaller-minded people that may be even doing an Etsy business. Um, it's really hard because you've got to counter in uh, shipping and nobody wants to pay shipping. You know, like everybody wants that included and when shipping prices are so high, it really makes it hard on a seller, especially a small seller. Anyway, enough rant about that. Um, I made some really cute candles and like I say, I'm going to link the video of his down below that I used in order to... Um, make those candles and then I'm also going to link his social media down there along with his Etsy shop so if you're interested in buying some candles you can um, go uh, visit his Etsy shop he's made all kinds of videos that were like really cool like I have watched a, a marbleized candle that he's done he's done a coffee candle he's done a beer candle and then he also while they were away on vacation him and his family he did a sand candle I didn't even know that was a thing but once I liked that video I noticed that other people had actually done that too so I thought that was pretty cool um but how I didn't even like I said I didn't even know that was a thing so but pretty cool I guess you know because I think of myself it's hard for me to take my crafting with me so I thought that was pretty neat that he did okay so I'm gonna show you all the cool stuff that he um, sent me but first what I need for you guys to do, because I really want to get him um, more subscribers and, and more um, maybe notice to his Etsy shop. So down below, I'm going to link the uh, video in which I followed along to make the candles. And then I'll also link the one that I want you to share. So I want you to share this to your Instagram, your um, Twitter or your Facebook account, um, get on there and share it. And if you belong to any kind of craft groups where they love for you to share stuff like that, that's even more ideal. And especially if you're part of a candle making group, because I'm sure there are something like that out there because I belong to so many as it is. Um, you know, I love those Dollar Tree ones and people making stuff on the Dollar Tree things. Um, some of these people are really inventive. Like, I'd like to think that I'm inventive sometimes, but some of these girls really got it going on let me tell you so anyway um i just want to get the word out um, get him some likes get him some shares and get his subscriber numbers up because he works his butt off and um, he does such a good job on explaining exactly what he's doing um, the temperatures uh, letting it cool and i was really thinking that i was going to mess my candles up because you have to heat them to 150 add your colorant um, then add your scent and then let it cool to a hundred before you pour it and I think that's to help um, more uh, I think that's so that your candle hardens up better and uh, less likely to have like um, bubbles in it or Mars on the surface but anyway you'll see what I came up with so um, make sure you share and then in the comments down below 
sh tell me where you shared that to. And, and if I pick you as a winner, then I want to be able to verify that you shared it in some way. And this is going to be a huge package of crafty goodies that I'm going to uh, send out to the person. Um, and I'll pick that winner in, let's say, next Sunday night, a week from today. And anyway, let's get on to the show. And at the end of this video, I'll show you all the crafty goodies that I'm going to include in that. So stay tuned. All right, so when he opens up and he said he's Tim from Timber Ridge Gifts, I'm like, that's pretty cool. Like, that's a really catchy name. I just, I like it so much. And this is his page. And so, like I say, he's done several different videos. He does the camo and candles. He did the, um, he even did one, I want to say it was about three weeks ago. It was jewelry and a candle. Um. He's got candle making tips and tricks. He's got uh, candle supply reviews where, he, and he even does this fragrance oil Friday. I watch some of these and I love watching those. I like seeing somebody describe uh, what monkey butt smells like, you know? I mean, get that's just the greatest. So uh, there's a bunch of different little things. Um, even candles and supplies. Uh, it's just a good resource to have somebody who deals with this um, continually and knows product quality. And I would attune this to the fact that um, I have gotten into oils and now I am a snob of a certain oil company. And it's true. I mean, like I, and I will go through some of that with you guys later. So if you're interested in that, make sure you stay tuned. Um, I've had really good results with these oils because I had mentioned to him about using the oils and the candles, but he m told me he didn't think that was going to be cost effective. So we'll see. Um, he's, I'm sure he's right and I'm just hopeful. <laughs> so anyways, he's even got DIY prank candles. I have not watched this one yet. So, but I have uh, watched quite a few of these others. Some of these are just the um, wax melts. And this one has like the, the glitter in it. And there's my crafting stuff in the background. See, it's all on the kitchen table because my room is such a mess. Or it's getting new flooring. So, I hate skipping the ad, but since I want y'all to watch this, I'm going to. Um, but basically, he shows the, um, the melt. And then you see that little glitter floating around. And then we're going to go back in reverse. I, Tim, if I can give a suggestion, I think you should talk during this too. I've been asked by several people to do this ASMR videos um, so they can fall asleep to my voice. I take it as a compliment, but you know I've had several people tell me that and I'm like, I wonder if they go back and watch my videos just to fall asleep. So anyway, we'll take it. Oh, look. This is the video that I watched, the DIY silicon molds. Make your own silicon mold for um, candle or resin. Oh, that's so cool that it comes up there to the side. So anyways, let's open these packages. Okay, so let's get into these boxes and let me show you what all he sent me and just how generous he was on some of these supplies. So here is his... Um, business card. It's Timber Ridge Gifts. There's his um, address um, for his website and his Etsy shop name. And he's on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and of course YouTube. So make sure you go find him on all of these. And like I say, I will link them below in case um, you're challenged like I am on trying to pick some of that stuff out. Now inside the first box, he actually included two sets of these little ball jars, and they're really nice little jars. I'm gonna pull one out and show you exactly what it looks like. It's got the little sure tight seals. And I believe I just made five or six candles um, this first go round when I made them. They came out really nice, but he actually sent me two that was in the one package. And so now I'm going to go ahead and open the other package. And who doesn't love peanuts? <laughs> of 
So it took me a little while to get those out of the way, but let's get into what he actually sent me. So much stuff. So generous. So here is a candy and deep fry thermometer. I'm pretty sure I had a thermometer, but nothing that I would have wanted to put wax, you know, dip it in wax. And then this is a Key West Green liquid dye. And I'm going to unwrap that here in just a little bit. He also sent me this huge container to actually put the wax in to melt it. So you just double boil it. And then these are little wick stickers. They go on the bottom of the actual wicks and that to make it stick to the jar. And then these are little warning labels. And I thought that was really quite a smart thing to do. I did watch one of his videos where he always said definitely the importance of that, especially if you're gonna sell them or give them away as gifts because never take for granted that everyone knows how to burn a candle, of course. <laughs> And so there's the little warning labels. I think we should personally take all of them off and let, um, let's just see what happens to all the stupid people. Just kidding. All right, he sent me this 12 piece of wicks and he actually sent me two of those. And then this is a Golden Brands 464 Soy Wax. I think for different candles and different um, things, you would use, um, of course, different type of waxes. I'm not up on all that for sure. This is Cactus Flower and Jade Scent. It says you can use it in soaps and lotions too, so I thought that was really cool because I did buy a little bath bomb thing in hopes of even maybe using that for my with my doTERRA oils. Um, but this one smells really good. Um, it's the one that I decided to use for the candles. And the Cactus Flower and Jade, it actually smells really good too. So I'm gonna have to make these again. And then he sent me these really nice finished lids. They actually have um, the wax seal in them. And then uh, those were white. And then of course these are gold. And then I'm gonna show you on this Key West green dye, it tells you how many drops to add per pound and depending on what color you want. And I thought that was pretty cool. And the purple one of course does the same. And so I wanted mine to be really purple. So I think I added extra drops to mine, but it came out a really nice light purple. I bought these um, at Hobby Lobby on clearance. It's like a wick trimmer. And if you had it in down kind of in a jar, that would really come in handy. And then I also picked up these candle tart molds. When he told me he was gonna send me some stuff and I saw a few things on clearance, I went ahead and grabbed them. But they're pretty cute. I wouldn't want to waste those six inch wisps, uh, wicks on those. So, and then he also even included these wick bars. There's um, 12 in there and they just go across the little glass piece and you put your wick up in them and it holds it in place for when you pour the um, wax in. And then he recommended using like a drinking straw to place your wick. So these little jars are really small and I don't really need it for this, but I was going to show you um, what he's talking about uh, whenever he says you can place it in the jar. And I take one of these um, really beautiful straws out that's like a rose gold glitter in that one. You stick the wick up in it, put your wick sticker on the bottom of that piece, and then you can pull it out when you place it inside the jar. And of course, like I say, these jars are really small. And then there's my little uh, wick holder right at the edge of the jar. Comes in so handy. And then I decide to go ahead and place the warning label on the bottom. And I got it all prepped up. Now that's a Dollar Tree baking mat. And this is a Dollar Tree um, pick that you can use for like roasted marshmallows to make s'mores. And it was the only thing I really had in my drawer that I thought that I could use to stir the wax up without creating a whole lot of bubbles. And then I'm gonna, um, I heated the wax up to 150 degrees, poured in the color and the scent, and then let it cool to 100 degrees before I poured it into the little jars. And that is what is called the Alex method. And it's supposed to have where your um, top, Part of your candle 
or actually the entire wax part of your candle all cools down at the same time and it leaves it with that smooth top. Now, I the one thing if I could go back and redo is that I wouldn't add more wax to the top of these and that's what I did because I, I wanted to fill them up and I wish I would have just filled them up from the get-go. But this is how they turned out. He does talk about leaving them um, at, at a good far enough apart from each other as well so that the heat from one candle doesn't keep your wax from, you know, hardening. But I think that they came out pretty good for my very first try. Like I say, if I had it to do over again, I wouldn't pour the additional wax on top. I would just go ahead and get a new jar. And then I trim my little wicks off with my little wick cutter and I add this really pretty white lid and you know I'm challenged so it took me a second <laughs> and I think this would look so cute I want to decorate these and give them out as gifts and I actually already have given out one um, just as plain as it was but there's the front and the back so you could add a little label to that you could add a little label to the very top of it um, I'd like to get some Avery L labels, um, even for some of my doTERRA stuff, um, but to add to these candles, and I think they would look great. So for the giveaway, I'm going to include these little dropper bottles. These are from AC Moore, but they're Artsy, and you can use with Artsy inks, but you could use it with any inks. I, um, I've used these to make some of the little um, shimmer waters for, like, uh, adding Perlex powders to it. I'm going to include this pom-pom maker. This is the We Are Memory Keepers pom-pom makers. And there's a small, medium, and a large pom-pom maker in there. It's still in its package. I'm going to also include a pair of these Crafters Essential Spring Loaded Scissors. I love these. Almost every time I go and I see them, I go ahead and buy a pair. When I go to Tuesday morning, that's where these came from. As you can see, they were $4.99, but regularly they're $10. I love spring-loaded scissors, and I have arthritis, so they've been a godsend. I've got some Jot Sticky Notes, Create Your Own Sunshine. I do have a bunch of the uh, stamps that the Dollar Tree put out, and these are the really cute cactus ones. Here's the sweet ones with the donut and the cupcake and ice cream and cake little uh, sayings that are in this, the alphabet, and even the acrylic block. And we're not going to stop there. We're going to keep going with a set of dies. These are cut and embossed dies, and these were from Hobby Lobby. They were $10. Um, they're compatible with any of your cutting machines, and I actually have this set. And then I bought two of these back around Christmas. It's the Tim Holtz Thinlets. Um, it's the uh, Branched Birch Dye. And this is a really awesome dye. You can actually make it to wear it um, in circles. And it's really, really cool. So it cuts. I have to pull it out of the package. But it just cuts within side there. And so you can make it as long as this, and then you can continually cut through the paper to make it as wide as you want to make it. So that's really cool. And I, for whatever reason, I actually bought two of those, and I was like, well, I'll just put one back for a giveaway. And then I also am going to include this Love Nicole. It's an embossing die. This is a little house. It makes the cutest little house. I ended up with two of these. I really love mine, so that's why I actually think they had them on sale, and I thought, oh, I'll just do that for a giveaway. And then I also have some of the coloring clear stamps that the Dollar Tree had at one time. They also have these at Tuesday morning. Um, of course, you know, at the Dollar Tree, they're a little bit uh, better uh, price, of course, um, but these are just little coloring in stamps, and I've kept the ones that I just love. Um, I think I got two sets of some of these so there's that one there's this one it's got all kinds of cute little sayings and a couple of them and these kind of remind me of like little fairy scenes um, so those 
And then I'm also going to include this little set, which includes a little notebook, a post-it note, a pen to go with it, and these little clips um, that say, <laughs> later, to do, ignore, and today. And it all matches, like it's all this um, marble um, color. And then you can actually um, personalize your little notebook set. I hate that crinkling sound. I'm trying to speak above it sometimes is really hard, but I hope you guys enjoyed the candles. Let me know um, what you think. Uh, what lid color did you like best? The white or the uh, gold? And make sure you um, share this um, video of his that I'm going to have down below. You can just copy and paste it and then put it on uh, your um Facebook page, your Pinterest is fine. Uh, you could put it on, um, let me start over. And so that's everything that I'm going to do in the giveaway. I may even go ahead and throw some extra stuff in there if I can get things to actually fit inside uh, the envelope or the box, whatever I choose to go ahead and put in there. So make sure you comment down below. Let me know where you shared the information at. I'm going to have the link in the box down below for you to share on, um, either share it on your Facebook page, Twitter, um, Instagram, any kind of social media, and uh, let me know. And you'll be entered in the drawing, and we're going to get uh, Tim some more subscribers and just a little more notice of hopefully people that will enjoy candle making. And stay tuned because I'm also going to have a, a giveaway drawing coming up for the cottage cut top that I was in. So thanks so much for watching you guys. Take care. Hope you have a great uh, week and thanks for watching. Bye.